All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Shinsekai Yori, episode seven. Oh mm. boy, yeah. we've slaughtered lots of monster rats already, and now there's a bunch of them in, in, in a canyon. Mm -hmm. They're probably just sitting there being like, hey, you ever wonder why we're here? They're, they're, they're ready to fight, it seems. I think this is yeah. like, not only just a, another whole group here, but this is one where Satoru does not have his power, really. Nope. And, uh, and the other monster rats have started to clue into that, mm -hmm. and that Saki hasn't been using any power. Mm-hmm. Hmm. hmm. Mm. And uh, there's this This would be one of his biggest feats yet to do this, or definitely his biggest feat yet. And that might not just be an army. That might just be their civilization with, like, women yeah. and children and, you know, and all that stuff. People I that mean, aren't necessarily wanting to fight. He's, he's already killed oh, yeah. whole numbers at this point. Mm-hmm. This is just to communicate to yep. us the despair of the monster rats whenever the gods show up and basically start right. at at will just, just slaughtering them yeah and yet while they serve them you know these ones here mm -hmm. it could change on a dime if they're like yep. wait a minute Oh are yeah, you, like, some you're not kind useful of, anymore. Yeah, you're oh, not we can useful. Get some or, vengeance. Are you a sham? Are you just yeah. you know stealing the god's power? Oh, sure. Well, hmm. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe you're a god and you're getting weaker, so we might like eat you or something. What's a god to power. an unbeliever? Yeah, yeah. yeah, but you don't use power, so wait a minute. Right. Hmm. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. Crazy shit. Crazy shit, and we still haven't found anybody, and 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 things are things are wild, and uh, we're we're still out in the, the forest. We're lost in children of the forest. Yeah, lost in the woods. Lost in the woods. But yeah, y'all. Yeah. Without further ado, let's get into this. All right, everyone. Now be sure to go check out the reaction portion of the video in the description below, then come back here for the discussion. <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay. That episode was a lot less dark than the yeah. previous one. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I, I liked that <sighs> Satoru is not losing his sense of self in the way that I right. think I was maybe a bit too um, critical of. Whereas the idea that he would just be in terms of wanton destruction, just want to kill all of them. And it's no, no. His own survival in some ways kind of kept his um kept him in check kept him in check and how he right. used his power but it he both, did throw an right. extra rock exactly it was both the source of the problem in that you know he wouldn't have had to worry about his powers being drained and all that stuff mm -hmm. if he wasn't just destroying everything yeah, right true and and also he wouldn't have been destroying everything if he didn't think his survival was on the line but then his survival gets on the line because of him using his powers and so right, then he right. stops okay oh, so our all kids right. are out of the woods but we're now back in society where rules and uh -huh. um, how you use what you've been given matters yeah. tremendously. And mm -hmm. will they be able to, even if let's say the adults are like, we're just going to pretend like everything's okay and we're going to observe them very closely. Right. That could be their play where it's the, mm -hmm. no, 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 no. You're on a, a watch list. You're on a watch list. Yeah. We can come over and just have someone nab you at any point, uh -huh. but we can't do it when you're together. Right. Because you could all band up and cause hellish problems yep two we can't use our powers on you immediately because well that could cause you to use your powers and then the whole death shame and all that mm -hmm. stuff yeah and, right yeah exactly yeah. so so it's a it's going to be a tightrope and i love like not miscommunication but like uncommunicated tension where it's the yes, idea that right everyone knows things but they're not saying it because if they do then things explode and it's the thing of I know that so and so likes so and so, but if I say that so and so is going to have this problem, then. But with this, yeah, yeah. And go we've ahead. gotten the motivation made crystal clear yeah. of exactly why this society exists and why it's so important to them that the power be kept in check. Because we've seen what happens. All when, the buildup. Yep. Yeah, like like oh yeah, Satoru just goes ham and uh, untold devastation, mm -hmm. you know, is unleashed. Right. Yeah. So pounds with the false Minashiro's exposition really well. Exactly. Yeah. So while these adults totally probably can't be trusted, probably have some ulterior motives and, you know, they're going to be a problem in the future. It, yeah. it, it doesn't have to be as overtly direct in all of that mm -hmm. stuff because they also are invested in making sure that nothing bad happens. Right. Humanity so, is on the line. That, that's, exactly. They, this is a very, this is a very fun, tense situation because while Satoru and Saki are going to be really excited to get back, mm -hmm. it does not seem like Shun, um, uh, let, me, let me see, uh, uh, Reiko or Amana Reiko. And, oh, wait, uh, no, that's, that's purple hair. Where, yeah, she went, she, uh, Maria. And then Mamaru. 
And then Mamoru, Mamoru, yeah. thank you. Those three don't seem like they encountered a single monster rat nope. or a single problem. Basically, mm. the the uh, uh, the beacon that was Satoru using his powers also drew probably all them. the monster rats yep. to be like, there's a god here! Right, right, we exactly. either kill it, or we ally with it, or we quickly like get into hiding and yep, protect but, our colony. But because... they would not be thinking about anything else. And mm -hmm. so, so, hey, there you go. You know, the, the other three were able to survive they were, because they, they found didn't... the river and just walked their way here, basically. Right. But they didn't have their powers. Right. So if they had been attacked, they would have died. So they That's were hiding. That's just what probably, would have happened. Just yep. constantly. Yeah. Exactly. So, okay. All right. They're back. They they figured out a, a cool way to be able to get all their powers back without the adults knowing. Awesome. I, I thought that was, that was fun. Yeah. So th this is the interesting part. So... We have a narrator mm -hmm. that is clearly just an older character. Right, probably Saki. Probably Saki. Yeah. But if she's telling us things that have yet to be shown on screen mm -hmm. as like a teaser, that's a fun little yep. dramatic tool with the, the story. The tension's not over, you know. Yeah. Right, right. But the idea that they did not get shown on screen getting their power back, uh -huh. they kind of describe right, it's just, that. It's just they said how they were going to plan to do it and then it was skipped past and okay, we were able to deceive the adults so mm -hmm. we can just assume that it went as, as a, it went according to plan. You know? Right, it, it went it went as good as, as, it, as it could be. Right. Then in some ways mm -hmm. the big thing that I would see as being a p potential problem here is that they are going to have to just reintegrate mm -hmm. and Regardless of whether or not they succeed, there's no immediate conflict, like, really, for for basically the story in general. Right, unless the adults start, like, putting pressure on them in some way, or they just have a truly visceral response to trying to adapt back to it. Because I, I, I think that while there will be problems that come about from them trying to reintegrate, uh -huh. it'll go well for a while. It's yes. not going to be an immediate problem, right? Yes. Because they're going to be scared enough and, mm -hmm. like holy shit, what happened, mm -hmm. that they'll do whatever they have to to lay low, yeah. you know, be 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 compliant pieces of the puzzle and right. be a part of this game, right? Right. But then eventually, then it's the, okay, but hold on, let's actually talk about this. Now that we've achieved a new status quo, we right. still know what happened out there. We know what the false ministero told us. What do we do, you know? How do we, how do we keep this secret? Right. When we're going to have to be hanging out with other kids and stuff. Mm-hmm. But we're probably going to start becoming our own little mini click community within and, the community so that we can mm -hmm. share these things. And luckily, they kind of already were. And that's why it was them specifically that learned mm. the stuff because they were hanging out together. Sure. But but that's going to look really bad for the adults from the adults' perspective. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, I yeah. also think that there's still some leftover shenanigans with Satoru and Shun and Saki as a love triangle. Oh yeah, that's bit. that's one of the things that I'm like, when it's like, okay, you've got psychic powers, you also have love triangles and stuff. And the whole story's about like, hey, that'd be real bad if you used your psychic powers in ways that you shouldn't. Oh, and hey, Satoru specifically was shown to have been into situations where he started really like enjoying using his psychic powers to cause harm to things, right? Yeah, not humans. No, not humans, of course. Because of course, no, the no, monster right. rats are not human. They're, they're, they're not human. No, right. of course not. No, they, not, they, they not look, at all that they, they were humans at one so point. it's fine, you know, right, yeah, right. exactly. Yeah, exactly. Uh, now I am kind of waiting for that point where then the romantic tension becomes a direct part of the conflict that then causes them to potentially have psychic freakouts and use their powers. And quite frankly, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if that was what caused the problems to happen because I mm. very much like the idea yeah. that maybe the adults are like, yeah, these are problem children. But you know what? We can work with this. We can this. work with this, yeah. Because there's so few of us left, we can't be too picky. No. Nope. Maybe there have been other groups of kids that have also found false Minashiro or things like that or yeah. whatever. No things they shouldn't. We have a plan just, for that. We have a plan for that. Yep. As long as they keep quiet and don't and and they don't all realize that they all know like maybe eighty percent of the class knows things I mean, that they shouldn't or I mean, you know, whatever. To bring another thing into to context mm. here, the adults end up eventually getting told everything. Sure. Because the dad is a part of the library side of things. Right, so he, I think... He eventually just gets probably initiated into the adult side of things, where it's the, okay... Here's the pamphlet. So here's know. here's the, uh, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. the pamphlet, the readout. Um, we're going to need you to stay calm. Yep. Mm -hmm. 
You but can't every, tell anybody else about this. You can't tell your wife, almost, your kids, anything like that. Yeah, almost but, everything you know is a protective barrier <laughs> for the kids to grow up into adults that will be able to be good guardians of this society. Right. And it is very important that they be that because if they're not, this whole Bad thing shit will happens. collapse. Yeah. We have seen it. We have studied it. Our, our society we analyzed exists it. As, as, the, as the answer to that question or, right. or that problem that what did not have a solution. Like, why do we keep killing each other? Why mm -hmm. do we keep yep. desiring violence where there's no logical, even sometimes emotional reason for it? It's sure. just, no, someone just decides to be a bit creative and ends up uh, hurting somebody who interprets it as malice and then, oh, what do you know? Blood feuds and death. Sure. And, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Like, so, so take that <sighs> and then, and then pour the, the gasoline, lighter fluid yeah. gasoline that is puberty onto the mix. Yeah. And, and crazy psychic powers. And crazy psychic powers. Oh yeah. This is going to get all kinds of fucked. And yeah. I'm still waiting for that bit that we had at the end of like episode three or whatever it was, it was like Mario will end up like yeah, being the being doom the of cause us all. of yeah it, it would so many people would have would have survived if she had just never been born or something like that and it's like wait wait what like I I think this is all the dominant this so so you know that meme effect? you know that meme where oh, it's the, yeah, the pushing down the little domino and yeah, then it and goes then the to the big, big domino, domino. Yeah, 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 yeah 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 so I think that's it basically yeah right and is that Maria had a little domino that she pushed mm -hmm. earlier in the story. And yeah. it was basically like that little thing of a, oh, yeah, see that little thing there that she well, did? That that starts the chain of events. And not that, to yeah. and not to uh, put the characters into too many archetypes, mm -hmm. but with these five, mm -hmm. what you have here, since we already have a confirmed potential love triangle, right? Yeah, the boys don't really know that they like... Uh, I mean, Satoru knows that he likes Saki. That's fair. No, 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 of course. Oh, yeah. I'm talking oh. about that... Shun and Satoru both don't mutually know about each other's crush on... Uh, totally, totally. Yeah. But, but, when I think of the other two girls... Mm. So, Mamoru? No, she's, 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 I think, I think Mamoru she's going to be... Mamoru we protect. Mamoru we protect. She mm -hmm. would not have a, have a truly, like, aggressive psychic freakout, right? She would have, like, a psychic freakout of, what People the fuck is happening? People immediately when you say that, like, they don't yeah. know, or they don't know. <laughs> yeah. Those eyes are the eyes of a killer, you know, right? Or, or but, it's just the thing of where everyone has a psychic freakout. Sure, but, like... It's just, you never suspect it. Well, and what and flavor of psychic freakout is it? Is it right. going in and exterminating monster rats, or is it, you know, something else, right? right. Satoru and, ends up being the one that's actually the most chill. <laughs> sure. Like, by the but, end of the show. But I could see Maria being someone where... When stuff ends up happening, mm. if she also gets involved in a different kind of love triangle, right, or something like that, right, and it gets Why? all kinds of complicated, I don't know. What? Okay. Then, then, then potentially that's where some craziness happens. I don't know. I'm just I, trying to wonder where the Maria thing comes in because I feel like that was, I feel established, like, yeah. that was established pretty early on. And I I'm feel like, like I gave you an explanation that fits, though, is that she had a domino that she pushed that we blinked past and it was nothing oh oh gotcha not that and she's the big domino but she's the small domino she was the small domino that gotcha. started episodes okay, ago no, yeah, that, and we've forgotten what the little thing was that she sure, did and maybe it was in that same episode and we just i, I didn't think even realize i think it honestly i i want to say it was was it maria that suggested the canoe trip because i think that might have been it oh I maybe that's it, what I it think, was i think it was before the canoe trip or right when they started gotcha. to go on the canoe trip and then and there was the maria would end up be the doom of all these people. Right, right. And I think that's what it is, is that okay, sure. she did the little domino way back then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no, like, stuff. It's it's already been set up. It's been established. Right. And now they're, they're already playing following. out yeah. the, the chain yeah. reaction. Okay, yeah. I like it. I like it. Yeah. 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 But, um, yeah, we're we're back. Yay, home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Goody. Great. Yeah. So, y'all. fine. Thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below. For our Patreon, you can get an early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general, and also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. We, we stream every weekday. The info's in the description. Yes, yeah, so if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.